Take care, what's up? That's a wretched, not a human. So, no snaps? Nope. They say she is dead. You're stupid. She just fell. The commoners claim it's our prince's doing. Serfs and lords will never be on the same side. Humans. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stennis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. What's stopping them? The knights. Adernian noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm skill and burden. I keep order and vulgan. Are doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvis! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons. I don't care if you're a serf or a lord. I'll kill you all if need be. What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olgan poisoned Saskia. We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass? We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat! Where's this servant? Safe. The square tail keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! Give us... We need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time, but be swift. I can't hold them off for long. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet Stennis. Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's prepared a suitable story. 
You'll know how to sort the sheep from the goat. Also, find the servant who started talking so suddenly. You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Good. Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. Tone when we put a sickle to your throat. That's just on the Come over here. For your Race for the mist. Why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven hovel. Those witches be craving gold. This one's sure to say the prince is innocent, then sting Stennis for a pouch. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once done with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets, throwing their weight about too much they are. You know Saskia's servant? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister and mother put together. He'd gladly get quartered for her. Where's this Willie of yours? Hiding in his shack, afraid of them lords. Squirrels guard him. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth, then? The prince is a wealthy lord. Bribing a skivvy to poison the wine is nothing to him. Just because someone can afford gold teeth doesn't mean they'll pull their healthy ones. What's it really all about? Who's backing you? We want justice. We don't need no one backing us. We knows what to do. How would you punish the prince? If a lad counts hens wrong, he'll be flogged. What should we then do with a man poisoning others? Kill him! A land without a ruler is a nightmare. We have a ruler! The Virgin of Eden! It's not certain she'll live. Then we'll choose another who'll manage. But he must be one of us lads. That way, he'll understand us. And all people is gonna be equal. Our way. And the non-humans? We have enough dung on the fields. Let non-humans find a non-human land. Get away with them! Farewell. This is Give nonsense. us this hall power! What the prince gain Rolling with the virgin's death? The serfs and lords will never be on the same side. If not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. I cannot be trusted. If you found proof of Stennis' guilt, the point is back. What should I do? I've been looking for you. I don't know you. You caused quite a commotion. Afraid of something? No, nothing. You're lying. I didn't do nothing. Didn't say nothing, don't know nothing, and didn't see nothing. I don't want to hurt you, I really don't. But I'll cut your arm off if I have to. No, no, please! So tell me what you saw. I heard the priest talking with the prince. This goody-goody said the virgin is really a beast under her fair skin. What priest? Olcan, the one killed. So there's no way I can check if you're lying. I swear on my mother's grave I speak the truth. What else did you hear? Tell me. Um, I was put in Saskia's room in order when the priest came to the prince's chamber next door. It wasn't speaking loud, but I heard the priest say... Just clear the servants from the kitchen. Nothing more. Reverend Olkan, only he could tell you how it was. Beginning to end. The dead aren't very talkative. What about what they leave behind? There may be clues or some such. Maybe. Oh, what how I nice. Say? Squirrels, witches, an army led by a woman. The gods, who needs this? They're used to it. They say someone they cast a spell. And the virgin fell as well. Greetings.
They lie in wait for their lord and prince. Humans are an odd lot. I certainly hope Scalen can clean up this mess. What can I do for you, Witcher? I need to know where Reverend Olkin used to live. Hmm. Simple. Let me show you on the map. It's about right here. How are things? Everyone awaits the battle. Some pray, others drink. Zoltan and Yarpan are chasing peasants around the square. They need a bit of drilling. Yorveth's warriors are trying to be inconspicuous, but so they should. I'd feel better if they crawled up the devil's arse and disappeared. But Saskia thinks we don't stand a chance without them. How long have you been alderman? My predecessor was killed three years ago. I was one of his advisors. I knew my way round the circus. So, I volunteered to manage things. No one opposed me. Mostly I deal with trade and taxes, and I organize assorted matters. In the end, everyone listens to Saskia exclusively. Me included. This must be the first revolt ever to be taxed. We can't feed ourselves nor fortify our walls with rebel slogans alone. But rest easy. Stennis and the nobles won't get a single Orin from us. Though, of course, the prince is just waiting for the right moment to get his grubby hands on our finances. I'm sure his motivations are pure, and he'll do it exclusively out of regard for his subjects. Don't forget about the monsters in the pit! You wanted to discuss something? I found an immortel. Excellent. You wanted to dis Your friend Sheila is conniving with Henselt. I know this, Witcher, but it's no cause for concern. Sheila is there to ensure Henselt doesn't fall prey to the same people who killed Foltest. We don't want him as sovereign of the Pontar Valley, but we also don't need Kedwin to descend into civil war. Have you heard about a Witcher's school? Apparently the Viper's their sign. No. Why do you ask? The Kingslayer wears a medallion adorned with a viper. Pretentious and childish for my taste. He can't be very smart. Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. You wanted to dis- A sorceress like you ought to know bundles about the wild hunt. A sorceress's knowledge has nothing to do with superstitions. The hunt's not a superstition. True. The phenomenon seems to exist. I want to know everything there is to know about it. It's strictly atmospheric. It doesn't interest me. Just as whirlwinds, whirlpools and snowfalls do not interest me. You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Any ideas where I might start looking? Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily, this area has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Glevisig's death and suffering. The abandoned mines. I was hoping you'd be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod. But please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. 
Maybe you should see him. You want... Is what they say true? Did Saskia kill a dragon? Prince Stennis decorated her for it at the court in Vengerberg, so it appears to be true. If you want to know the details, talk to Biggerhorn. Apparently he witnessed it. How is it that King... Re this has grown... Saskia isn't... Why are you here? It is my... If Henselt... A dark scenario that... Even if she thwarts... Temeria's ex... I'm here to make this victory... How is it that King Rat... This has... Saskia... Why are you... It is my... If... A dark... Even if... Temeria... I'm here... Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. Just out of curiosity, how much does a magic course cost these days? I'm certain you can't afford it, Witcher. Besides, you're too old. No matter. I have a few of my own tricks as it is. You mean Witcher's signs? Hmm. Philippa can conjure up the illusion of a garden full of flowers, fruit trees, and young elves of both sexes copulating merrily all the day. And the illusion is complete. The flowers have an aroma. The fruit and she-elves are juicy. Invite me over the next time she conjures up this garden. I'd gladly see it. Professional curiosity. Naturally. But I doubt Philippa's in the mood for complicated illusions. She focuses all her efforts on Saskia. Who are you? I'm Cynthia. A mage in training. Philippa is my mentor. My condolences. No need for that. True, she's a demanding mistress, but she can also be charming. Besides, she's the best there is, Witcher. She has no equals. Excepting, perhaps, the old elven sorceresses. You should see her cast spells. Light and graceful she is. Not like that old tart de Tanzaville. You know Sheila? I've seen her cast spells. I've seen all the great sorceresses at work. Sheila's quite manly in her style. Precise, logical, exceptionally composed, but she lacks grace and suppleness. Is that your opinion, or are you just repeating what Philippa says? We agree in our assessment. Triss Marigold, on the other hand, is talented, but she lacks determination, courage, and a certain cold willfulness that seems necessary. That's interesting. Kira Metz and Margarita Lo Antiel are both blasé, seemingly resigned. One's a hedonist and nymphomaniac, the other cares only about her school. They lost enthusiasm for magic long ago. Then there's a Francesca Finderbear. Nobody really knows what the old she-elf is capable of. But she's clearly very powerful. I take it Philippa has none of these flaws, but she must have some weakness. Ambition. Infinite, boundless, and burning like the Korath Desert. Wretch is not human. So, no snap.
Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on! <laughs> Nothing good in store for us. I never finished Nothing good here about the canary. <laughs> What's the rush? <coughs> and there he's dead. I broke out in a cold sweat. The commoners claim it's our prince's doing. Such judgment is above Change their state tone when we put it. Say, Give Richard, us come this over here. Power. Roll in dung, you surly dog! Change your tone when we put a Say, why is he lingering about? Like the stench in a dwarven harvel. Those witches be craving gold. He bet they are one step. Farewell. Give us this whole plower! Rolling dung, you I want to speak with the prince. You're unique then. Everyone else wants to tear him limb from limb. We won't let you in. Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence! I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please, Master. Are you here to kill me, Monster Slayer? I'm here for your help. You can save Saskia. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. I am the heir to the Edernian throne, the rightful ruler of this land, descendant of Demavend and Verferil. Prince, if you help me heal Saskia, the people will forget. If? So if I don't help you, they'll kill me. This is blackmail. This is a deal. What do you want? I need royal blood for a potion that will heal Saskia. Do you mock me? You owe Saskia your life. She carried you away from the Wraith's battle. It was her duty, as it would have been of any Adernian. Besides, my realm is falling apart, and she is responsible. Saskia and her rebels routed the royal forces at Galette and on the banks of the Diffney. For practical purposes, the Adernian army no longer exists. Those rebels are the last hope you have of stopping Henselt. And what then? A pig herd will be crowned and appoint a shoeshine his secretary of state. Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure Saskia. Vergen can defend itself only if she's in command. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. I'll not yield to blackmail even if it costs me my life. I'll go to the axe my head held high. And I'll certainly not surrender even a drop of royal blood to save a peasant girl. Did you poison her? Of course not. Even if I had, do you think I would boast about it? Don't be a fool. I'm trying to help. Not only Saskia, but you, Your Highness. I won't yield to that rabble. Never. One smear is all they needed to lay siege to my doorstep. Do you really think I should plead my innocence every time some village idiot says the prince did it? Or maybe go out there and beg them for mercy? Never! You merely need to convince them that you're innocent. Prove it wasn't you and they'll walk away. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof? You claim you wish to help me. Do so. Convince the people to believe me. You'll not regret it. You're trying to bribe me. I want only to make a contract. Think about it. Guards! What is it, sire? Show the Witcher out. Is everything in order, sire? We had a chat, but we are through. Think on what I told you, Geralt. I will. Save your threats for your hog smelling. Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! Come on, lads, let's drag the prince from his hovel! 
Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There are laws to abide, and Scalen Burden's job is to uphold them. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian lands, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as you lords think. See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting venom like adders. They hatched a plot to dispose of him. Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's a fraud. He's hiding to save his skin from you, horse hands. Squirrels have to guard him. One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's a known fact that servants taste wine from the barrels before the virgin sips it. A good point. We can't be sure if the prince poisoned the wine. Stannis is blowing hot and cold. Everyone knows that. You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it. A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. It's cause of her you noble dogs can't ignore us. A pig won't cut its own throat. A peasant's not foolish enough to raise his hand against his savior. Perhaps it is no peasant's deed. However, that doesn't mean the prince is guilty, fool. Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Can he not enter the virgin's kitchen at will? Yes. His serene dumbhead the prince can curses on his kin. Nobody in Vergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they want it, nobody but Stannis could do it. You're wrong, Colton. Reverend Olkin wanted to get rid of Saskia. He thought she was a monster at heart. Olkin was on Stannis' leash like a dog. How dare you, lout! Do you imagine if someone sits next to a married lady, he's surely fucking her? The priest tried to convince Prince Stennis to join the conspiracy. Is Stannis some dimwit foundling that he dances to a lousy priest's tune? Olcan got what he deserved when Hensel cleaved his head. Now it's Stannis' time. There is no proof the prince agreed. The priest asked him for admittance to the kitchen. So he didn't poison the virgin himself, but allowed her to be poisoned. It appears Stannis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit for one with royal blood running in his veins. What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand against divine right is not worthy to walk this world. 
And what about you, poisons the Virgin of Eden? Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's going to judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign. I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that lights up your darkness. So you've forgotten how you tried to bribe me when I was at your house? How about that, snout face? This is slander. There are no witnesses, Witcher. You didn't say a word about your guilt or innocence. You demand justice. You want to summon a coven of the wise. But who will sit on that coven? Any peasants? No, only people you'll nominate yourself. Lords whom you'll reward with lands for reaching the right decision. Such men are to decide if you're guilty? No, you are guilty, Prince. You know you are. forgive them that. They're a cowardly lot. Yelping's all they're good at. And backstabbing. By Stennis's example. His filthy life wasn't taken in vain. Eilhart will get royal blood and Saskia will be cured. We need to hurry. We can't keep peace in Vergen with strength alone. Anything's possible using strength. One just has to know how to use it. That's your credo? Saskia is the best leader I know, but she can't hope to defeat Hensel with this rabble. What do you intend to do? I'll get reinforcements. The Scoyatel are more numerous than you think. Time to summon them. I'll leave shortly. You won't get through the fog. I don't intend to. Mountains may stop human armies, but not the Scoyatel. I'm going south. Will you be back in time? I have to. Va fail, Gwynblade. Don't lose hope. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedweni camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. There's no time to lose. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. 
I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell then. You wanted to discuss... Remember the antidote for Saskia. It's very important. Try anything. Let's go drink, friends. I'm gonna get as drunk as a lord. Why is that?
I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry! I knew it was you. When the mist started whirling, I told the boys it's Geralt of Rivia, or well, my name isn't Vernon Roach. Friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Dressed like a Vergeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. In that case, you either know nothing, or you're lying. Plow yourself, son of a bitch. I owe you nothing. You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. Is Vess all right? What do you care? We could have all died while you played at being a squirrel. I'm not one of your men, Roach. I didn't betray you. I didn't say that. But you thought it. You and your men against the whole world. Those not on your side are against you. Don't you care about Voltaire's death anymore? The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear. Near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. I forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles. But some monsters have their lairs there. If you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Thanks, Roach. Hey! I'll hold you to your promise. Come <laughs> on! 
I fought the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now we make camp with the Black Ones. Well, well, a witcher. Girls, trim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those, you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. I've got the Orans, if that's what you're wondering. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. How can I? I'm looking. We've, but you. I've. Well. in Tameria. Run away, eh? I'm from Van Glen. Hmm. Well, I'm actually from everywhere. Well, well, how can I... I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but... Sounds all right. Ask away. What would you like? I need to get inside the camp, unnoticed. That'll cost you more than straight plowing. That's nowhere near enough. I need to get inside the... That'll cost you more... That's nowhere... I need to get... That'll cost... That's nowhere... I need to... That'll cost... Hmm... We've an underground passageway leading out to the river. Thanks. Although we've not used it for some time. There's... I'm sure I'll manage. The entrance is in... 